What's up for people today? Today is about African foreigners in South Africa do all this thing to make money. My name is Penikiruka. For my subscriber, thank you very much for your support. I love you, I love you. And those who are watching and those who are new, you're welcome, you're welcome. Please comment below, share this video with your family and friends, and hit the bell for notification whenever I release a new video. The first one. You are the first one to know. These are the things foreigners do in South Africa to make money. Most for First thing most foreigners do in South Africa to make money is buying and selling cars. Most of foreigners they deal with this business. They sell, they buy a car and then they resell it. That that means that they are making a profit. I'm I'm just saying maybe they buy a car fifty thousand and then they sell it seventy thousand or maybe six thousand. Then you got a profit. Yeah, that is how that is that is the way also making money as a foreigner. The other thing is. The other thing is buying a car and stripping stripping that car and sell part one by one. You know, you you strip you strip the car you and then sell the sell the parts the car parts one by one. That also the way that also the way for now they make money with this with with buying the cars. And the other thing is buying accident car, go to panel beaters, furnish that car. The car become new and then they is they reset that car, yeah. That how that that is the way also to make money, buying car accident and sell and uh, furnishing it and taking to pan beaters and you know, yeah, they sell it. The other thing they do also is um, selling gold. The other thing they they also do, the other thing they they do also buying and selling is. Buying gold and resell it. When you go to Joe's, you're gonna find those small, small, small shops. They are selling gold. The people they come, the local they come, they sell the gold or anyone. The people they come, they sell gold to them. Maybe earring, chain, rings, and then or any kind of gold. And then they go, they and then they take that gold and then they they resell it. Or the the other thing they do also is selling things in Facebook, like clothes, shoes. You know anything in in Facebook like the marketplace? They go and buy the maybe the clothes or the shoes in some companies, and they buy the shoes and the clothes and other things, and then they they go to marketplace and they market it and then they sell it. Also, that how most of foreigners they are making money. The the other thing is saloons. You find that uh, someone got a saloon. He put a hairpiece there and. Sometimes it depends on how big is a saloon. Maybe it's, you can have a saloon and then you put like five people there to rent inside. To rent a chair inside, maybe like five people or six people. And then and then as the owner of that shop, you got a, you got a hair piece inside, you got a hair food, you got a nails, you got everything there. Like those people who are in that saloon, those who are renting in your saloon, they 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 don't buy outside, they buy they buy to you. Like the razor cut hairpiece or bump or anything, anything as a hairpiece, they put it there. So those people who are renting in that in that saloon, they don't go outside to buy. They buy to they buy to him in the saloon. So uh, for now they are doing also nails, pedicure, manicure, eyelashes. You find that someone got a saloon specially for manicure and pedicure and and the uh, eyelashes. Yeah, those are also they are based in the nails industries and eyelashes and stuff like that also there is also barbing you cut people hair you dye so they also relax the hair and they cut the beards those things like that yeah yeah also those things are the way also that also barbing is the way to make money for, for the way they used to make money as a foreigner saloon for dreads you understand you find that someone who have a saloon only he only do dreads only dreads only you find that the person do only dreads, only dreads and wash and dreads only styling, crouching, you know, starting dreads. Yeah, those kind of those kind of thing. You find someone is on doing only dreads. It's based only on dreads in the saloon. Yeah. There is also that thing for the ladies. Let's go back to the saloons for the hippies, for those ladies who rent the chairs. Those ladies who rent the chairs also they also do wigs. The foreigner also they are based on this phone fixing business. Phone business. You you find that someone got a phone, phone shop. He sell the phones. He sell the phones. He fix. 
on sometime you know sometime you can be broke and then you go and sell your your, your phone they they buy the phone and resell it if you got a problem with your phone they they you take to them you take the phone if you got a problem with the phone you take to them and then they fix it for you yeah that and within that shop for phone fixing there is a place also they sell also they they put a stock for selling maybe and earphone they also sell those things for the phone earphone cover for the phones you know those things like that for the phones yeah they also do that yeah also that thing for foreigner they sell a uh, they sell in open air like when you go to Jersey in CBD they there is that place they sell clothes the second hand clothes they order clothes in bales from China or other other countries and then they bring it and then they open they open the bales and then they sell as a second hand clothing and then they sell as a second hand clothing and people buy yeah that is also the kind of business they are doing selling second hand clothes taking uh buying clothes from outside country and then bring it to South Africa and then they open the bales and then they sell it as a second hand clothing and then there is also for now who are in this business for internet cafe internet cafe they do copies uh internet if you want to go to internet those things like that uh, you want to you want to write your cv they go they write for you you want a copy you know things like that and besides that there's also this thing for designing clothes you know foreigners are based on these designing clothes like got material from their country or south african materials you just bring your material and then and then you you bring your design or maybe you choose a design from their shop and then they make it for you they make it for you or maybe you want you want something to maybe to make your dress small or big you know things like that or you want a design they make it for you and that is also a part of things that foreigners do to make money in south africa dress making yeah let's call it dress making yeah there is also this um security security companies most of the foreigners also they are based in security company no matter the most of the time they own the company and sometimes you just work in that company you you are security in that company you work as a security you work as a security and sometimes they own the the companies you understand what i'm saying yeah they are, they are most of the foreigners also they are doing this thing to make money as a security or the owner of the owner of security company the other thing is kitchen most of the foreigners are based in food is an industry sometime you can find someone is cooking cooking nigerian food cooking tanzanian food cooking kenyan food cooking zimbabwean food cooking malawi food you know cooking ghanian food cooking uh, cooking ghanian food cooking senegal food yo. you know all, all over africa food industry so that is also the type of the type of uh, the type of business foreigner are based on selling the food selling the food from their own country so the so the homeboy come and support them you know those are the kind of also business they do food industry like selling food yeah kitchens you understand what i'm saying if you are zimbabwean zimbabwean they will come and support you if you are nigerian nigerian gonna come and support you or People like to test things, so either way, you can, either way, yeah, that is also part of industry, part of business foreigners used to do. Also, foreigners are based on beads, also foreigners are based, based in beads industry. You find that they are make, they are doing necklace and sell it, they are doing beads and selling, they are doing necklace and selling it, they are doing bangled and selling it, they are doing this traditional clothes tradition tradition clothes with beads and they sell it you understand what i'm saying that is also part of a uh, business foreigner also do that is also kind of business foreigner do to make money in south africa and the other thing is youtube foreigner also now are based in youtube there is a lot of foreigner people who are doing youtube and they are making money yeah in youtube so that is also something i think is something new for foreigners now like is booming this booming in the they are making money from it so yeah that is also kind of business foreigners are doing yeah that all i that all i got for you today thank you for watching see you in the in the next video sharp sharp